Okay, now we're going to do this rectangular piece of glass. And you can see I've marked the centre of the top. I've got my lead, mark the centre of the lead, and put two hangers which are equal distant from the edge, both sides. Well, that's the plan anyway. Now, like the round one, I'm just going to take away part of the adhesive backing. He says. Hey! It's a little right. Now we're going to dance about uh, there for now, I think. Now, so I've already got the centre part mark. So that is still there. That goes on to there. And I'll just give it a squeeze about there. Just to start it off. There we go. So it'll probably come off, it has done before, not to worry. Move it round so the hanger has a slightly longer piece which will go that way, and a slightly smaller piece which will go towards the corner. There we go, we've got the hanger on there. Right. And all the time making sure down halfway on the lead. Right, I'm just going to have to bring this towards me slightly to make sure it's going well. There we go. Again, I'll start squeezing to keep the, get the lead onto the glass. It is too hard. So you can soften the lead up slightly by warming it up. Either on a radiator, coffee cup, or something else warm. Now I'm going to snip this corner. So we get the lead laying flat. And that is how we're going to do all the four corners. On this, I'm going to snip each one and then put the lead over like that. Make sure it's gone okay the other side. Alright, go around with that, take the rest of that backing off and continue around with that. Again, I'm going to snip the corner. Quite through, almost through. And you can lay the lead flat there, and lay the lead on top of that. And now for this side. Slightly to get the uh, piece of backing off. There we go. Right, go back on. Push down the other side. Make sure it's hangers under the glass. It's a bit of a battle. Just want to put the hanger under there, so we're going to do our snipping now. That comes off, don't worry. You can you can put it back on again. It is adhesive. It's 
quite possible you'll lose it where you cut it. There's the thing that comes underneath. Rest of that off. Make sure we press it in the middle. And down on either side. Right, it's going to take me a while now to get that finished, crushed down, and then smoothed. So, whilst I'm doing that, we're going to speed this video up just slightly. And then you, oops, there we are. So you lost that bit. Doesn't matter, that will go back on. So, I'll be surprised if you don't lose all four corners, especially when you're doing it for the first couple of times. Right, we'll speed this up. And there we are, we have our finished square roundel with its hooks in, ready to be outlined and painted. Quite smooth, slight bump in the corners where the lead overlaps, but that actually gives it a sort of welded look. As you notice, that was a little bit of a struggle. I'm now going to show you a simpler way of getting exactly the same frame round a rectangular piece of glass. Here's a second way to make a rectangular frame. It's a lot simpler than the way I'm choosing to actually make mine now. I'm going to do this with this 12mm lead. This is a slightly different one. It's a lot thinner than the lead I was just using. Not actually too fussed on it, but it is good for this method. You can use a slightly thicker lead for this method as well, but this thin it, it is excellent. Now, first of all, I'm going to measure on the top of the glass with the lead cut myself a piece which is virtually exactly the size of the lead and to do that I will use my cutting knife just to mark like that take it away and then use the scissors to get a clean cut there we go that's to go on there. Now I've already made two hangers. One, two. And you can see the sort of at right angle. So this one. So they are going to slip on top of the glass there. And there. A bit slightly flatter. There. So, take those away slightly, Move, take the backing paper off here. I do have a problem, I admit, getting the backing papers off these. This is what comes of biting your nails. It will come. It will take a couple of seconds to do it. Be careful with this lead, it is very thin. Okay, using this 12mm thin lead. There goes the paper. Down there. And keep it as flat as possible. Get it off my fingers would be a good start. Now we're going to put the glass on halfway, or just under halfway, because you've obviously got the thickness of the glass to worry about. Slightly out there, so I'll start again. slightly under halfway because you've got the thickness of the glass to worry about then we'll put on the hanger right against the edge there same this side put on the hanger right against the edge there now very carefully to pull that lead over on top 
I'll try. Oh! Fold it part way. Hang it back. Is on the top of the grass. Three creases in that as possible, have the one crease there. Smooth that out as much as possible with the bone tool. One of the reasons I don't like this leather as much is it doesn't smooth quite as nicely. It's not bad, that. It doesn't smooth quite as nicely as the lead, but that's not bad at all. Okay, now we want to do the same with both sides. And that, I like, there's a little discrepancy there, but you won't notice that once it's been painted. You may want to smooth it down, but to be honest, that's pretty smooth as it goes. And you'll see, that was a lot less hassle. A little bit of a kink there, and smoothing, there we go, it's gone. But that was a lot less hassle than the first method, a little kink there. And there we go. So we've got a nice square angle, two hooks, we can put that on the chain, etc. when we've painted it. You can paint a, a, a number of things on these. Obviously you can do the rectangular ones round either way. These both happen to be that way round. Again, got the holders on the top so we can put a chain, etc. into them. And here's a nice little round one with a rose on. Yeah, nice hanger. That'll probably go no chain, probably go straight onto a suction pad and on the window. So there's how to make a plaque or round ball with the outline or with the adhesive lead. Next we're going to look at how to use the 3mm lead to do a complete piece with. And that's the next video. Have fun. Bye.